Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you've been wanting to learn React through Fiber and you've been wanting to start building some 3D objects or some 3D websites or 3D games or VR games or MR games or AR experiences, guys, this is the starter kit for you guys. This is a very simple starter kit that any one of you guys can use to get your feet wet in this whole WebXR experience. Okay. So for those of you guys that uh, have seen things like this, right? Uh, 3D games and like 3D portfolios, right? Uh, and you always wonder like, how do people get to do this, right? How is it that this is possible, right? You see things like the ones from like Next.js, or you might see a portfolio for somebody and their portfolio looks like in 3D and you're like, man, how the hell did they do this, right? Um, they're using 3JS, right? So now we also have access to React 3 Fiber, which makes our lives much easier to work with this 3D environment and creating experiences online, especially if you're already a React developer, you're gonna be at home, right? So 3JS is the engine, um, and you can do this with just vanilla JavaScript, but I always feel like it's a little bit too much. It's too much boilerplate, too much things that you gotta write. So I prefer to do this type of experiences with React 3 Fiber, okay? Um, again, it's a community that's behind this, creating new experiences, new components, new effects, right? Um, and again, it just makes your life much, much easier to get started. Okay, and then later on, if you want to go deeper into it, you could go into the world of 3JS and, and do a vanilla JavaScript if that's what you want to do. Okay, but today we got this starter kit for you guys. Okay, so it's called R3F Triple X Starter Kit. <laughs> I know it's a long name, uh, but I'm gonna put it on my GitHub. Okay, I'm gonna put the link below. It's very simple to get started with. All you have to do is come here, either clone this into your projects, or you could just download the zip, right? Once you have downloaded the zip, the next thing that you wanna do is you wanna download this program called Triplex, and it's a visual editor. Now, this visual editor, what it does, right? It allows you to go in and, and move things around your scenes, as far as like your 3D objects, right? Also to being able to change things on the fly. So like, let's say for example, I wanna make this little chicken, you know, 10 feet tall. I could go in and, and do the changes right here through the visual editor. And it also goes and saves those settings to the code itself. So this is like super useful. Okay. Um, again, shout out to the creator of this big fan of his. Um, so yeah, that's why I added it to uh, the starter kit. And also too, this is going to be part of the course that I'm building with React 3 Fiber and WebXR. So we are gonna be using Triplex, you know, here and there to really see how our scenes is going to be looking like before we, you know, finalize everything. Uh, so again, we're gonna need this. So download this, right? Of course, you gotta have VS Code, right? Um, and again, just have Node.js installed. From there, you're gonna come in, you're gonna come to your VS Code, open the folder, okay? find where you have your folder where you started kit. Okay, click on file open. And then from there, you're gonna come here and do npm run dev. So npm run dev. Okay, under the hood, we're using Vite to handle the bundling. So again, tools that everybody uses. There's nothing here that I'm building myself. I'm using a bunch of tools on that are open source to make sure to make your life easier into this world of 3D environments, okay? So in here, it's a very simple scene. We have some lighting already there set up. Um, we also have orbit controls set up there so you can move things around. So again, it's pretty cool. Now, the next thing that I wanna show you guys is that um, how is the folder structure? How does this work, right? So you have your public folder where you're gonna have all your static files, right? Maybe some images, maybe some uh, 3D objects if you might need one. Um, you might put it there. You can also put it in the source if you like, uh, just to you know make it easier for you to import things. Um, from there, we also have this folder, which is like the assets folder again. Um, we also have the components folder. This is where you're gonna have your components. So as you create things, like let's say you create a, a chair, right? And maybe you wanna reuse that chair in multiple places, right? Let's say you're doing like a restaurant. 
um, guess what? You create that component once, and then now you can go in and reuse that everywhere else. Okay, so this is how we have this set up, right? It's like React. It's just like websites, right? You create an input field. You don't need to go in and create that input field multiple times. You just create one and then reuse that component, okay? Um, again, you have an app.css. The only thing that you need to know about here is just is a CSS reset, very simple CSS reset. And then from there, we have the canvas to be 100 VH and 100 VW for the width. Okay, this is the way how to make the whole canvas become full screen. Okay, from there, we have the app.tsx. And this app.tsx is where we're choosing to show either the scene browser or we're working on triplex. Okay, and we're going to get into that in a second. Uh, from there, you have your main.tsx. This is pretty much like the main file um, where you're um, loading up your React and your React DOM and, you know, where this thing is going to actually be displayed on your HTML file, right? What is the element by ID? The very basics, right? This is basic stuff from React, okay? From there, we have the scene. This is where we have... Uh, everything that has to do with what we're able to see. So in here, we have the orbit controls. This allows us to move things around. Uh, we have our ambient lights. We have a directional light. We have two directional lights. And then from there, we have our mesh, right? This is how we're able to see that cube in 3D, okay? So then from there, we also have the scene browser. And think of this like a provider, right? Something very simple. Okay, this is just for us to be able to see the canvas, right? And for us to be able to see um, on the browser uh, this 3D scene, okay? Now, again, this might change in the future, right? Just slightly, right? I might do some changes on, on, on how we set this up, but just know that there's two ways. There's one way to be able to see the scene on the browser and then basically being able to see your scene through triplex. So again, um, all of this, you can do this with code, right? You can come in here, change things around, you know, move things around right here, right? All throughout, um, just using your code. But again, this is kind of boring, to be honest. Like <laughs> you want to go in and, and write um, the code whenever, you know, whenever you need to add like a new component or something like that, uh, you might want to do it through here, right? Um, but to be honest with you, I prefer to use triplex when I'm setting up my scenes. So again, let's open up triplex. If you download a triplex, you should have this application here. And in here, all you have to do is click on open project. Okay. Everything is already set up for you. You don't have to do anything. Okay. Just go to your starter kit from there, click on open. And this is what you're going to see. All right. Initially, you're not going to see anything here because we're still using the scene browser. Okay. That's for the, the browser. For now, we're just going to go in and we're going to change this. To, go to the app.tsx. And, and here, I'm just going to load up the scene directly. Okay. So again, we have this app component and this app component is basically returning back either the scene for the browser or the scene that we're going to be using for uh, debugging purposes on triplex. So save this. Okay. And from there, we're going to open up triplex. And again, one more time, click on file open. Okay. And open start again. And here we go. Okay. So now we are able to see our scene. All right. So now that we are able to see our component, let's go over here, file open, and we're going to open our scene component. This is where we have everything that has to do with this specific scene. I can go in and move the ambient lights if I want to. I could say, hey, I'll move this over here. I mean, technically it doesn't really matter, but let's say the lights were the directional lights. I could go in and move this around and I could see how the lighting is affecting it. Okay. Same thing for the directional light that's on the other side. Maybe I want to move this 
a little bit closer, maybe a little bit farther, right? Maybe like this. I want to move it around this way. Okay. Also, too, I can just, you know, move things around. If I move this like this, I can move a different space, right? If I hold the middle, right, I can also move it around. Okay, so it's a lot of things that you can do to it. You know, as far as like to place things in different locations. So this is super useful because a lot of times when you're building this type of scenes, you if you're doing it just by using code, like it could be a real headache. So this really does save us a lot of time. And also the fact that you can see how the lights are actually um, affecting uh, the elements themselves. So in here we have this mesh, right? This mesh itself, we can go in and we could change it around. We can say, okay, we want this to be wide. Maybe we might want to make this into like, I don't know, maybe a floor, right? So maybe I'll go like this. Change the Z index or the not the Z index, the C uh the C location of this, right? Or the transformation for it. Okay, so here we go. So now we just made a floor, right? Um from here we can even go in and save this. So if I save this, now those changes are gonna show up in my scene, okay. All of those properties that we added, we actually just changed it. And I'll show you guys right now one more time um, how this will look. Again, go to triplex. Okay. And in here, let me change this material. Let's say I wanted to change this to be instead of red, I want this to be like a neon green type of thing. Right. I could even change the metalness of it, right? So then now we are affecting the material itself, okay? We might want to change the roughness of it, how rough we want this to be. So then now it's starting to look a little bit different, right? Okay, so, and again, we see all of the different type of properties that this material has. As far as like, you know, the arguments that we could change for this. So this is super useful. Um, also, too, I can just go in directly and in here say, well, I want to create another, I don't know, another component, right? So I could do the same thing that I have here, create a, a mesh. Let's see, find in the build things, right? Build a, a mesh. Okay. Do the same thing that we have here. But now we're going to use another geometry shape. So in here, maybe I might want to use, I don't know, let's say we got circle, sphere, cone. So I'm going to put in a cone. And then I'm going to put in a different type of material. So I'll say material. And I'm going to use the same thing, just uh, mesh standard. Okay, here we go. So it's actually here. Let me save this. So as I save it, now I can see we have the little cone right here. Now, let's say I want to make this a little bit bigger. I could change this, let's say, change the radius, change the height of it. Okay. Again, we're just playing around. This is live. <laughs> All right. So again, you can do that. Come to the material, change the colors. Let's say I want this to be blue. Okay. Sometimes it's not perfect as far as like, you know, it has certain little bugs here and there sometimes. Um, but again, it's, it's brand new, uh, software that got created. I mean, they are doing a, a lot of, uh, little fixes here and there. Um, but again, once you save it, you should see the changes. Okay. 
And then from there, as you can see, you can play around, move your things around. And again, it's just this is great just for the fact that you can now go in and move elements around freely. And, you know, when you're building this type of scenes, you know, and you're doing this just with pure code, it's a headache. A lot of times what people do is they set up their whole scene in Blender and then from there they put it in inside of their 3JS applications, right? Um, and you can do it that way too. But sometimes you might want to do a little change here and there, like move something around and you don't want to have to go all the way to Blender to go in and then export everything um, to then set up your scene. So this is, you know, it's useful. Okay. So again, this is a tool. We're not going to be using it like crazy um, again, because it is something new. Uh, but I feel to show you guys the beginning stages as far as like, you know, changing the materials, changing the lighting, understanding how things uh, interact with each other. Right? I think this is a, a great tool um, visually so you can see uh, what's happening. And also, too, when you're new, you might not know all of the different things that you can change on something, especially like, let's say, for materials. A lot of times people don't know every single uh, thing that they can actually change. And this right here gives you that, that visual look of it and say, okay, cool. I could go in and change a couple of this, this arguments here and, and let's play around with it. Let's see, let's see what it does. Right. Um, again, this is all experimental and this is something that you're going to have to experiment no matter what, if you're expecting for you to use one day and be like this, this, uh, 3D master, right? Or, you know, React uh, 3 fiber master from one day to another. Like, it's not going to happen. Like, you have to experiment, okay? Um, but again, I love this tool because it allows us to do this on the fly, okay? Without having to, to write the code. Now, of course, we are going to teach you inside of the course how to do this, you know, manually, right? Through the code, right? Um, and creating your own components, but we are going to be using this tool just to make our lives easier to see things visually. Okay. So guys, hopefully this is useful for some of you guys that are interested in, in starting in, in this new XR wave. Um, but again, again, this is going to be like a, a very a foundations uh, course where we're going to teach you everything about React 3 Fiber and from there how to start using reactive fiber to be able to create xr experiences which is the ultimate goal but we have to go and teach you step by step right like there's things that you have to learn you have to go in and learn about um reactive fiber you have to learn how to work with models you have to learn how to optimize uh your web experiences then from there uh you might want to go in into blender then from there you want to go into um XR experiences. How do you put all of these things together? Because technically, when you look at this, this is like when you first start learning how to code, right? And you're like, okay, here's a function, here's a variable, but what do I build with this? How do I put all of these things together to create something? And that's what I'm going to be doing in this course to show you guys the process, right? Um, to make sure that I make it accessible for any one of you guys that want to get started with this, right? So I'm breaking everything down, just making your life much easier, right? Um, you don't have to go the long way to get started with this. You could come in and we'll give you the shortcuts, right? To get you in. And then later on, if you want to go deeper into a 3JS, you could always do that. You want to go deeper into React 3 Fiber, you could always do that, right? Um, but in this course, my goal is to help you start building things as soon as possible okay and get you guys started so again guys this is a quick starter kit for anybody that's in, in need of this and yeah we're gonna get started i'll see you guys inside of the course okay take care guys peace